Hi, man. How are you? Hey, good, good. Huge fan. I know I'm a huge fan of Fountain, but I know you're also a writer for SNL. Mm -hmm. You were close to Norm MacDonald? Yeah, I was. Oh, how are you, how you taking that? Very sad. Very sad. You worked with him for, on, on SNL for quite a while, right? Yeah, yeah. Very sad. How are you taking it? Hard, you know. Well, Nobody knew he was sick. No, not even his friends? I no. like you, anyone? So it was like, it was like a punch in the gut. So it's like... Oh. You think he was like underrated as a comedian? Not with comedians. Not with he's like yeah. a comedian, comedians, yeah. right? No, he was a. No one in comedy ever said. People go Norm. A lot of comedians that go. Oh, I like that guy. I don't like that. No one in comedy went. Oh, I don't like Norm. Really? I mean, that's. I just want to talk for a second. Okay. I mean, that, that's really cool. I mean, I love him in Dirty Work. You know, his Twitter was his Twitter was a gem. No, he's, he was he was truly brilliant. You know. Do you have like a, like a really fun, not fun, like a story you know or what? something? I spent so much time with him. I mean, just, I, I wrote all this stuff when he was on the show. I spent so much time with him. I did his album. I've known him for one of my best friends. My brain is, I tried to think of a funny story yesterday. My brain I mean, not, I mean, but not to put it, but not, it's not like the proper place to say it, but like, you know, just a way to remember him and honor him. Well, I think you honor him by watching his comedy. And, and because he did his comedy and he didn't care laughed or not he just did it and his it was like here I'm presenting it was almost like a painting when you see a painting you don't go oh what should the painting affect me it's like here it is here I'm telling this joke if you as the audience don't like it so be it if you love it great if not great I got him by irreplaceable his, yeah. his band of comedy no I don't think you know, his timing was like Jack Benny perfect it was like everything about him was pure uh -huh. he was made to be if he was more, you know, I get, would he have been more successful if he was less brilliant? 